Alrighty, we are back with another view, and today we're gonna be checking out some of my top Nintendo Funko Pops. Yes, and Nintendo. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. So today I want to do my top five Nintendo uh, Funko Pops. So let's see. First off the list, let's hop right into it with Dig Dug. So these are gonna be 8-bit pops that were Nintendo games, basically, and that's gonna be my uh, basis for picking these. So first off, we got Dig Dug. We did do an unboxing of Dig Dug, but he is in here at number five. Cool pop. We are going to unbox some of these, just not all of them. But uh, we got Dig Dug in at number five right there. Pretty cool. If you definitely played the game, there's a screenshot of it right there on the back. Um, again, I think they did really well with coming to his likeness. There he is right there. And there's the pop right there, so you can kind of see a good comparison. And a side view of him is like that. So I think they did really good with adapting this uh, pop to the actual 8-bit uh, game player. So it's pretty cool that they did that, and Dig Dug is a cool game. If you like arcade games, Dig Dug definitely was a fun one back in the day. So in at number 5, we got Dig Dug. And he also is a 2017 Fall Convention exclusive pretty common for a while they were all over on the shelves uh and they, it seems like people couldn't get rid of them i guess they must have got rid of them on clearance or something so coming in at number four we got freddy krueger from the nightmare on elm street video game for the nintendo entertainment system so this is the nes version of freddy krueger where he got the lid open let's check him out we'll pop him out the box and check him out so in the game he was this i mean they did pretty good with the the striping the yellow one was definitely on the bottom or the brownish colored one but it definitely was an orange it's like a halloween themed freddy krueger basically he looks like a candy corn which is kind of neat but the game let's see let me get the box back in here the game itself he was pictured wearing the red and the blue with the red pants he also was pictured wearing the orange and like brown type of um, sweater as well. So this was the 8-bit NES version of Freddy Krueger. Now this is the actual 8-bit pop of him with his with his costume on. So there's his red and green sweater with his brown pants. Same pop, only just the color variation, just a little bit different. But again, this is just a little, the standard 8-bit one, the GameStop exclusive one is the Nintendo version, which is, I think, really neat that GameStop did that. So, um, but yeah, we got the regular 8-bit one. This is the one you were expecting in the game to be in the game. And you wonder why they changed it up a little bit, but that was the, that's the actual one. So in at number four, we got Freddy Krueger. In at number three, we got Batman. So we got 8-bit Batman here. This is the NES version of batman which has him in at this like purple and teal coloration which is cool this is how it happened to turn out i don't know if they were going with a they don't actually have a, a game scene on the back here it just shows the actual regular 8-bit batman right there the other freddy krueger um just shows the regular Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street background. The one for GameStop shows an actual clip from the game. The one from, this is Entertainment Earth, so this isn't GameStop, but they just have the eight, the standard 8-bit Batman, which is this one, which is what you probably were expecting in the video game, was a Batman colored like this, but what I think that they were doing, which is what they basically did with the Jason Voorhees, is kind of try to make him have like the moonlight reflecting off of him and this is what he would look like i guess having like the the city light so this is the 8-bit nintendo nes version of batman look at that cape that is totally cool so really cool this is a awesome pop this is definitely one of the ones from my personal collection i do like the nintendo variation pops and this one is definitely one of my favorites it's in at number three but this is the purple and teal Batman. Really cool. Love this pop. Really nice addition to the set and awesome to share it with you guys. So there is, so far we have two actual Nintendo variations of their, the pops, which is great. Next in at number two, we got the three pack here, which is George 
Lizzie and Ralph. So I don't really need to pop these out. We did this in a review before, but this is Rampage. If you haven't played Rampage for the Nintendo Entertainment System, you definitely need to check it out. Um, I believe it's by, what is it, Data East? Data East, and now Midway, I guess, owns the rights to it. But uh, it's basically a side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up game, which is great. And you got these three characters, George, Lizzie, and Ralph, which is the wolf, the lizard, and the ape. And they basically battle each other, battle the army, police, battle everybody. And you're trying to just destroy everything, pretty much. So this is totally cool. This was a Walmart exclusive and definitely a game I used to play on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So it's nice to have this particular set right here, which is totally cool. Uh, whether you played it in arcade or you played it on the NES, uh, it's still going to be, you know, the same three characters. This one is the 8-bit one, which would be implied that this is the NES version. So um, coming in at number two, we got the Rampage 3-pack, which is awesome. And then lastly, coming in at number one, if you didn't know, it's definitely going to be Friday the 13th 8-bit Jason Voorhees a GameStop exclusive. So this is another one of those purple and teal ones and it is Jason Voorhees, which is basically, this is what you were expecting when you were playing the game, and you ended up getting this. So it's like the same thing with Freddy, Batman, and Jason. You were expecting this, but you got this. So, very interesting. We'll put him off to the side. That's a regular Jason Voorhees. And this one, the GameStop exclusive, is my number one all-time favorite uh, NES, or even 8-bit pop. This one is superb. So we got Jason Voorhees here in his 8-bit form, just like the NES version. I'll show you the pop, and then I'm going to bring the box over here in a second. So here you go. You got all the straps tied together with a loop. You got his shirts all torn. He's holding that bloody knife. And there you go. Now we're going to show you a little screenshot. Here's the Jason one. So the GameStop exclusives are on point because they actually put screenshots of the game that they're trying to show you the illustration of the pop they made a variation of. Entertainment Earth did not show you that. I have no idea why they did not show you the clip from the Batman NES game. Very bizarre. But here we have a screenshot of Jason. That is the, the look that you get when you, that's what you see when you fight him in the game and you are in a cabin and he pops up on your screen, which was absolutely terrifying when you're a child and you're playing this. But there he is right there. I think the likeness is awesome. They just took the 8-bit Jason and just changed the coloration, and it looks really cool. Um, definitely dig this pop the most out of all the uh, Jason pops. I think this one, in my opinion, is the best one that they have made. The NES variation of this pop is, I mean, a milestone in itself just to have this out. NECA did a figure just like this as well. NECA did a figure with the... NES version of Freddy as well too. So you can get both these two in NECA figures, which is neat. Uh, they also did the Batman one too. Um, I'm not sure if they, I know they released the 8-bit Jason one, or not the 8-bit, the Jason from the Nintendo version first. I did see that one first, like back in 2015 or 2014 or something, but I believe they re-released all three of these in NECA figure form again. Um, so I know you could pick those up, which is totally cool. And it's definitely my favorite version of these characters. Really cool. Dig the pop. This pop is awesome. I definitely like this one. Uh, I mean, like, uh, this is I, the Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th for the NES is like what got AVGN their career shot off. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty milestone when it, uh, when it comes to video games, knowing, you know, this coloration, and this variant. So we got these three highlights here we got jason Voorhees from the nes version we got the batman variation from the nintendo specifically we have freddy krueger his variations specifically for the nintendo and the nes which is awesome obviously the dig dug is dig dug um, 8-bit from nintendo and we have the george lizzie and ralph which is the three pack that's definitely on the list too um but yeah, definitely number one is going to be Jason Voorhees, uh, the GameStop exclusive. This one is an awesome, awesome pop. So let me know down in the comments below which figures out of these is your favorite and which 8-bit slash NES or Nintendo pops are your favorites. These are my top five, and 
Uh, let me know if you agree with what I have chosen down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe for more. I do reviews every single day, so look out for that and have a great rest of your day.